It's our live audience show here on Wednesday. I am Morayo Afolabi Brown. As always, I have my lovely co host. Hi, ladies. Excellent Good morning. morning. Good morning. Excellent Good morning. morning. Good morning. Indeed. How are you doing, Nima? <laughs> ah, Nima, I was really stressed yesterday, but the highlights mm -hmm. was when I had my Amala. That's hey. Kafad. Hey. Kafad Flash. She makes her Amala. It wasn't as dark hey. as Publicity when Shah. I did my Yokoro finish. And mm. the Amala. Oh, boy. Nima, calm down. That, that, was, that was what just made me. I slept off. I forgot my daughter's homework. I didn't finish the homework. I just had a nice okay. meal and just left How are off. you feeling? Thank you. How is how it? We are looking forward to the Lagos fashion. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Today, right? Uh, you know, Citro. Citro is, is exhibiting and they have invited us. So we will be there. So we should but be there. Alone. All of us now. So yeah. be there, all of us. So we'll try to be there. Stop by. Hotel. I'll try to be there very briefly because I have to be somewhere else. But, I'll, but definitely, I promise that I'll be there. I'll be there. Mm. How are you mm. doing, Thief? Thief. I'm, I'm very, very TMO. Talk by anyone. Just uh, Wabella. Please don't forget. The, we, are, we are pushing the names. We are pushing the brand. The name is not just a name. Is a brand. Mm. Yeah, so Tell them what, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm very, very good. Um, yesterday, I, I, I've missed BC. We had a play date, make up play date yesterday. So and we're it was, rapping. Yes, it was studio. nice to. Um, I, I realized in life that um, we feed off each other. Mm -hmm. And so we must keep the right company. So yeah. I, I'm, I'm with her. And I realized oh, she, there were some things she could do better. And I was not feeling myself that me that somebody just counseled me yesterday on this same social media. And I'm counseling someone else like I have all the information. We never know enough. Mm -hmm. But we must be around people that know a little more than us. And so they can add value to us one way or the other. Let's keep growing one another. Iron, sharpen it, iron. Exactly. Fantastic. How are you doing, Evangeli? <laughs> I'm you this doing week. great, yeah. Yes, uh, it's my first time on the show this week. Um, on Thursday last week, my subscription expired. So I had to, you know, get in with QuickTeller, mm. SpectraNet, Access Bank. They debited me 12,500 Naira till today. You haven't gotten the I'm money. I've not gotten the money. Uh, where is the money me, hanging? I don't know where the money is hanging. So I'm appealing. I have my 12,500, oh. I need it. I have followed you, okay, on one of this kind of, <laughs> one of this kind of mission to go and recover over 18,000 water. How did you, how did you we, go about ah, it? We got it. When they, want, when they wanted to close, we closed the door. Oh my we God. sat there with the I manager. They now dashed like extra months oh. when we're done. Wow. So, uh, but I'm not available, Shah, to follow you to the house. No, office. you have to follow me. We see visitors today. Don't abandon me. So we got to say hello to our audience. Hello, how are you guys doing today? Hey. Any first timers here? Somebody coming for the first. I know I see oh. your face. I'm like, I don't know this face. Hi, good to see, good to have you. you and lady at the top, welcome to the show. Good to have you. So we need to be. You are welcome to the new name. We need to go put yourself. I'm doing well. I, I'm thank you. I'm, I'm thankful. Yesterday was a bit um, soul searching. You know, mm. I had a lot. I had time to myself yesterday. Which is good. I had a lot of time to myself, which was great. Everybody was not home. It was just me alone, and it was good. So I think I need more of that. So I've told. Mm. I, told I, th I think I'm off the show this week. I'll try to find somebody to just host the show and let me just take off time, you know? So when I come back, I'll be renewed. Yeah, fresh. But I did yesterday, just a few hours alone was like, it was. I now realize that I'm actually hardly ever alone. Back yeah, to back, yeah, like yeah. I'm doing Everybody's something. Everybody's around. I mean, the to the kids. Back, the honestly, there's just so much stuff. So oh. yesterday I had about four, or five hours. you need to feel yourself to be able to Yeah, give to give. So I'm mm -hmm. definitely, but I thank God for it. Mm -hmm. All right, it's cool, it's midweek. There's a lot happening in the news. Hmm. And we're going to be learning about event planning today. Have, have you guys ever wondered how event planners handle this event? How people I spend know. so much money? We have an event planner in the building who's going to help us out on how to best plan a nice, classy wedding. Mm -hmm. Stay with us. We'll be right back with the pages of the news. Today. Thanks for staying with us. So we're going to start with the front pages of the newspapers today. The Punch, EFCC grills fire Shea, asks ex-governor to return 1.3 billion naira. Picture of uh, my ex-governor by marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Outrage over cleaner Red Cross worker. Police colluding with APC to scuttle election petitions, says Adeliki. Ex-convict breaks into pastor's house, steals church offering. Nude video court releases Ocean Commissioner businessman on bill. Fire me, sworn in, says Fire Ocean's government was an error. Okay, so um, my ex-governor came in with an entourage, Governor Wiki, 
Fanika Yodi, and Ozekome, you mm -hmm. know? So you, and he had a nice teacher saying, EFCC, I am here. I am, you cannot say that you will come. You cannot be <laughs> You cannot be fine. You cannot be fine. You say in terms of drama. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, I say, waiting happen. I am here. I am Branded t shirt from oh. a governor. Yes, sir. ex governor. <laughs> ex governor. Anyway, the question is they are alleged, they are alleging that my ex governor took money from Dasuku, 1.3 billion naira. Yes. And they're saying that he collected the money from, uh, what's the guy, Obani Kuru, Lagos State. And um, he's so, he, he, and he's saying, I never collected the money. According to EFC, they have compelling evidence against my ex-governor by marriage. They have compelling, <laughs> they have compelling evidence. But he keeps telling them that, listen, I did not collect this money. So hopefully, they, I think there was, was a was a quite a long meeting they had yesterday. Yes, it was. It was still there till evening. And um, about this, so Wiki we'll was um, appealing to the AFCC officials that they should, um, you know, handle him with pardon. They should it's pardon him. Man. Respect. Yes, we respect that he promised he was going to show up, and, and he, he did. Handle so him with respect. And AFCC said that Bunayo, no, no, wait, 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 let me you, let me just tell you a bit of my history. I was born in Western Avenue, Surulere. So close to me is the area C and the Tejo Show market. And nobody gets handled. And they the used respect. to beat somebody who stole my, uh, Pepe mm. from Tejo Show naked all the way to area C. That deterred me from ever thinking of taking somebody's property. Mm -hmm. But these days we celebrate governors who are yeah. alleged to have stolen state funds. <laughs> exactly, we are that's dancing, the word. Alleged. We, shirts, we brand shirts mm. and all the and we see alleged. We see executive governors when and SAN lawyers escort such governors mm. to the when he's for, for questioning. When he's convicted. Uh, no, I'm just he's saying the convicted that some, one that came back from prison. The shame of it is no longer there. We had a convicted man that came back from prison and there was actually a bit to celebrate yes, him. Yes. Celebrate. There's, there's, one. There's, so there's one. There's one. We are not ready to fight corruption. To, change. to fight corruption, change. all of us must stop. Okay. There's even one. Something there's even one that's running for office. He's in prison. Convicted. Yeah, still in prison. <laughs> he's running for office. So we're not ready. Ah, there's no sh ah. This is Nigeria. So true. This is Nigeria. Okay, let's move on now to the nation. We tried to save her, Buhari tells slain aid worker's dad. Mom demands murdered midwife's body. Uh, United Nations, US, ICRC, Arewa condemn killings and reps demand action on Leah others. Picture here of Fire Ming as he takes oath of office. 4.6 billion dollars slush funds, AFCC detains Fire Shea. Our grouse about obese choice by governors. And Senate probes $3.8 billion subsidy recovery fund. Okay, so we'll take um, the uh, volunteer workers' um, murder yeah. in Sun. But let's, let's talk about um, Peter Obi's choice. So um, I was really curious when I saw the headline that there was a grouse, but it was just um, the governor of Ebony State speaking up um, when it was, yes, on marginalization, mm -hmm. that when they were considering candidates for um, vice president for Atiku, they only picked people from um, Anambra, Anambra in, from Enugu, and from um, um, the other one, Abia. Abia State. So, and nobody came from Imo, and mm -hmm. nobody came from Eboi. And that why, as in, they picked two from two of those states and one person. He felt that, at, in the very minimum, they are also part of the Southeast and you should have considered them before picking Peter Obi. That he has nothing against Peter Obi personally, but he felt that everybody should be carried along before I think making that, such and, a decision. And some other people are saying that, not on the papers though, but the comments I've heard outside is that, listen, the Southeast must have a united front. If, yes. you, if you keep having this division, mm -hmm. you gotta sometimes look beyond the ethnicities, marginalized. Just yes. so you know what, we are all standing by this person. If mm. not, nobody's gonna move forward. Yes. From time immemorial, I think because of the way they were colonized, mm. so there's no one central, everybody is a king in mm. their place. So yeah. for you to come together and bring one person is always difficult for them. So well, I don't know. Anyway, people have different views on that. But let's, uh, congratulations to the new governor of Ikiti State. He congratulations to Fai. It's my Fire. new gov new governor by marriage. Yeah. New, new new governor by my mom. My my, my yeah, mom. That's true. My mom is from Ikiti too. Who yeah. that's you? I do Ikiti. Yeah, that's where the BC came from. Ah, so my appeal oh, nice. to fire me is that very few governor people, fire, governor me, fire me that people get second chance. <laughs> this is a second chance, yes. and for whatever reason, we mustn't discard everything that the former the ex-governor stood Very for. Fayoshe connected with, with the, the people. people. Let me join and the document. people ate with him. They felt he was their own. So whatever it is you have as good plans for the people, Just you must find a love way. the people and let them connect. know you I connect with them. I learned from this last mm. he, he said in the papers that he will probe 
the past governor. Okay. I'd like him to leave that duty for the ICPC and the EFCC okay. and, and face governance. Mm -hmm. right. Because right. it's important that he, this time around he establishes his presence and people feel him. And yes, Governor Fire mm -hmm. Fire, ex Governor Fire actually connected with the people, but Governor Fire Me has a lot of work to do. There's a lot of mm. debt. Yes. There's a lot yes. of salaries to be paid. Mm. There's a lot of work to be done in, in Ikiti. So, so that's the, not that, 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 that's to distract really yourself from probing somebody. So mm. it's, it's beyond going to go and eat Amala with the people. There's mm. work to be done. Pay them their salaries. <laughs> hey. so so true. Documents to EFCC uh, office. All right. Well. Let's move on now to Daily Sun. Hawa, tears and outrage. Family in shock. Mm. The man's daughter's corpse. Buhari Global Bodies mourn. Female Red Cross aid worker who was murdered. My book hmm. around. Buhari's men at war over subsidy probe. 2019, PDP appoints Saraki campaign director. Fire me, sworn in as fire she reports to EFCC. And Ohana Zendigbo warns on Buhari's um, executive order six. So Hawa, obviously, her family. Yes. Uh, yesterday, yes, you had that story. So Go the ahead. the president called the father of um, our little man yesterday to, you know, to condole the family on the loss of their daughter and said that everything within the power of the federal government was done to save her, but they are sad that she had to, she was killed in such a brutal way. Mm -hmm. I believe reading the story and, you know, putting all the missing dots and um, tears together, the, the, everything wasn't done. Because the Red Cross was saying, they, they were in talks, the, the Boko Haram faction was demanding money from the Red Cross. So if the federal government was in talks and the Red Cross was in talks, was is somebody in the middle of these talks mm. finding out what the demands are and you know trying as much as possible to meet the demands? So three midwives mm. are now just one left. Right. It's so painful. they should please exhaust every Everyone. option. And even the um, the Senate, getting these the girls Senate back. president also said that this and the committee and the security within yes. the house is also trying to talk to some security operatives to see what else can be done, how can, what they can do to support, to ensure that this doesn't repeat itself and our hearts really go out to the yeah, family. The international community, um, communities, um, the US, Amnesty, Red Cross, they are all complaining and saying that the government has to step in and do something about this so that they can, at least they can get layer out. And um, Ohani Zendibo are also saying that the federal government is too, it's pampering the insurgents and that's one of the reasons all this is still happening. The, we, we're always having issues with source subsidy. Another investigation is about to start looking into um, the source subsidy payments. The three senators clashed, um, Ali Undume, um, Ahmed Lawan, and Kabiru Marafa. And the issue is that they want to ascertain what exactly is the amount we're paying for a subsidy, subsidy. A subsidy. And because they, they're thinking that the inflation started from what we're consuming. So if, we're, if we know what we're consuming, then we know how, what, 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 what we're spending per day. Mm -hmm. But okay. there's a lot of issues within the subsidy right. and we need to clarify it. Okay, let's move on now very quickly to New Telegraph. 2019 presidency, Saraki leads Atiku's campaign. PDP appoints Tambua, Wiki, Omari, Fahashi, Dankoba as coordinators. United Nations National Assembly can condemn killing of health worker. Senate probes. <laughs> And NPC over $3.5 billion subsidy recovery. Yes. I'm just saying that my ex-governor here was actually carrying two bags. It was his sleepover bags or something. <laughs> you know, he said he was there with his pillow. He carried, uh, yeah, he I'm just saying, I didn't see that one before. He did a They did a ako. They did a kara. Oh, oh, anyway, let's talk about. Um, I have a story. There's all man, madman arrested yeah. with phone receives 1.5 million alerts. Bagan. So the um, NSCDC arrested a madman in uh, Undo Akure, and um, he. He's been suspected to be uh, a kidnapper. Mm. So by the time they got him, immediately they seized his phone, Intel. He received an alert of 1.5 million. Okay. <laughs> so, so this is not the first time we're hearing of yes. people that are in, look insane, so that are doing other businesses. So he snatched the phone from the policemen mm. and smashed it. So now they have coupled the phone. They are finding um, all these um, people who work on phones to, you know, get the phone and they can, that way they can trace yes. the people the who are paying provider. him and who he's working with. So it's still on the Okay, so you know, that's one. Body parts. So another paper, Nigerian Tribune. I didn't expect it to come to this. Why were they killed? His mother, that's mother of um, the girl that was killed. As Fahimi takes over, Fahimi reports at MEFCC. Defection rumor. Amosun says, I stand with Buhari. So people say that he's going to dip that yeah. party that he's saying is a rumor. Uh, CU people begins move to choose sole candidate. Is Amosun just saying CU people? I thought... I thought he has endorsed article. Okay. I thought that thing was... Transcorp Group announces the new executive, non-executive appointment. 
and uh, Lautech students protest tuition increase? Yes, the Lautech students' tuition increase was from um, 45,000 to 250,000 naira. 75,000. 75,000 to 250,000 naira. And I think that they should be heard because though they've been on strike for a while, a long time, like nine months last year, they were on strike. They came back and the school fees, the, the difference is too much. Over 200%. It is the state-owned university. And I understand the crisis, but I think we, we education isn't where we should exert this um, I remember this. You know, you had issues with Lautec, the two yes, states, or your yes. show, and coming together. So there's mm. always an issue of wh how much to charge another. So I think we'll one state should just adopt the school. Mm. Well, school. Private school is it Oshun that doesn't have money? Is it uh, that they're owing salaries? They've not paid salaries in. They still, what's 2015 salary they paid them last? No, no, no. They are doing um, tranches. Modulated. 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 Oh, half. Right. Modulated Okay. Ones. All right. Well. Let's go on a break. Now, when we come back, we'll discuss uh, academically weak students are truly the cause of sex for Marx. That's what somebody said. We wanted to th hear your thoughts on that. And later, we invite a wedding planner who's going to teach us how to plan for a good wedding. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thank you for staying with us. So lately, people are beginning to ask why sex for Mark scandal is becoming quite prevalent amongst us here. Recently, a former executive secretary of the National University Commission, Professor Peter Okebukola, said that girls who run after lecturers are academically weak. No. Even if the lecturer does not want to get engaged with them sexually. The girls offer their bodies. Because if they were actually, so according to him, what he was inferring is that schools should engage, shouldn't engage people who are academically weak. Because if you do, they will end up looking for sex for marks. Anyway, what are your thoughts on this? You can call us on 070 806 You can also tweet us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. We're not trying to bash the professor. Mm. I'm trying to understand the reasoning. Okay. Because I actually we, agree with him. We, so because yeah, so exactly, okay, you can agree with him. But yeah. I want I want us to see the comments of the fact that many people get into universities the, the, without passing. Hmm. Some of them they pay they pay teachers to cheat for them to pass. So they get into, into universities and they cannot um, sustain. They can't they can't cope hmm. in, 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 in the university, and that's what leads to them luring their professors hmm. for marks. That's what he's saying. So if we're going to stop this menace, let's stop it from the source, from the entrance of these people getting into university in the first place. Okay. Do you agree or do yeah. you disagree? Uh, That's really can, the conversation. Can, can yeah. I say? Yeah, be <laughs> <laughs> so I have three questions for the professor. Did he conduct any research showing him that this sex for Max is as a result of academically weak students? Secondly, is he not aware that every university has a criteria? So you meet up with the criteria and you get admitted into the university. Thirdly, what is his definition of academically weak students? Because I was almost a victim of sexual harassment by my lecturers twice. The first one was when I was in 200 level. The lecturer just called me out in class and said, you, we know your name. You are, you are, you are doing well. So you think we will not know you. All of us will not know you. You, are just, you want to just go through this class and nobody will know you. And I, I didn't understand the statement. You. So I was like... In biblical terms. Sir, I, <laughs> but I know, I know you, sir. And you know, he said, no, that's not the no I mean. You know what I'm talking about. You think, oh, because you're a face of Delso now. I had to report to my uncle who was a lecturer in another department. He saved me. In my final year, the doctor who was supposed to you know, take charge of my uh, project started harassing me as well. I had to buy a, a ring to engage myself. <laughs> that was what saved me from that. So it's not about students who, most of the victims in school, are not academically weak. The lecturer just speak on them yes. and decides no, to frustrate no, them. We shouldn't to okay. say, to, okay, I went to school here in Lagos. To say that he's without research would not be really founded because he asking. is a professor. And in school, I saw Academically weak students, supposedly, what we call average students, think it's just an alternative. So let's just do it. Now, the question is, 
do the school have a criteria for checking in students? Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. May I inform him that the post, uh, post UME was another alternative to check students who are not qualified coming into school through yeah, jam. jam. So you can buy jam, but you can't buy post UME. post UME. And so they brought in students who were qualified, but yet we had this privilege growing. Recently, Lasso had to suck about four lecturers because of this, following an investigation. So I had the inside information on how these cameras were planted on a particular student to go into the lecturer's office. It's a norm among lecturers, and if a, prof a prof professor of his level should be able to talk when the fault is on their side as well as when it's on the other side. Because you see sometimes the voice that will change things is the inside voice. Right. As a professor, when you're telling your colleagues, hey, this is a shameful habit, let's drop it. Let's stop it. I think it will do some things. Because that's really where the it conversation be, should be going yes. to. Because now you can't really get away with it like before. Mm. Then, so that's what now, you. anybody would be recording from somewhere you don't even know. Exactly. And you're, you probably know all your dirty is outside. Out. So Let me help. The, hear, the hear, system, hear. for me, our educational system is flawed. And this professor is trying to solve a flawed, like a tree that is producing bad fruits by plucking the fruits. Out. Out. You cannot treat that by plucking fruits. You're supposed to treat the tree itself. Maybe there's an infection somewhere. So apparently, every question you've asked is valid. People escape through this system. M m m mediocre students, average students, below average students escape through this Sex. different criteria and still get into school. Would a smart student allow herself to be harassed? Not likely. Most huh. of the time, people actually, he's not talking about harassment. And I'm sure if you read it, he said sex for marks. marks. That is not saying that somebody is harassing you. So that's saying that the student walks into the lecturer's office, flirtatiously asking the, student, the lecturer to give, him, to give her marks in exchange for sexual favors. That is not a smart student. That is a challenge, um, academically okay. challenged student. So, there's, so what he's saying is a fact. So, People go and meet lecturers so to ask for the, marks in exchange so for their body. So sexual harassment. That can happen to yes. smart or yes. not smart. Yes. Yes. But now, yes. even with the distinction made, a person who is in authority, who is it in a position of advantage in such a relationship is the one who abuses. Mm. So yes, you will be offered sex, but you are in a position of authority. Say no. You are in a position of advantage. Mm. So you can actually tell the student, for doing this, there will be repercussions. Which is but, why I started and you by can also saying tell the, student, the system is flawed. If you don't do this, mm -hmm. right. there will also be consequences. Okay. So the student is now forced in such a circumstance, even if the child is not uh, academically challenged. So I have seen first class early students have this kind of situations okay. in school. All so right. it's happened like this, the Ife example, the lady wasn't failing her exams. Yes. She was an early student, but yeah. this happened. If, and in, 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 in studying this kind of circumstance, once the, there's a position of advantage on the side of one party, most likely the lecturer, that person is guilty. Whether okay. or not so the evidence is the yes. okay. Sex for marks, sexual harassment. Same All decision. of them are the same issues within a university which should be addressed holistically. However, what the man said, which I agree with that is valid, is that those who have academical issues are the ones that go and trade for marks. Now, yes, I agree that the lecturer has a right to say no and even carry out punitive measures on the students who came to approach him. But we must realize that men... That's a duty. Yes, he has a duty right. to do it. Mm. But we must realize that if you don't create the temptation, mm. if there is no temptation on ground, which we cannot entirely take out, so we, we must uh, try to uh, prevent such thing from happening. Let's have every lecture, lecturer's office should have a camera. Okay. Let's have every Preventive. Let's, preventive. Pre not let's be smart not to have in their office now. They can they let me they, somewhere. No, no, no. What I'm saying is trading. Mm, okay. Let, let, let's take this call from Ola Oto. Good morning. Are you there? Thanks for calling. Good morning, ladies. Go ahead, mm. please. I tend to uh, follow Topper's line of argument today. Okay. As a young um, graduate, I did well at the school oh, retained yeah. me to lecture. That was one of the reasons I left lecturing to actually go into business. Because the truth about it is that it's a genuine issue. It might look like what we are getting at say looks right, but the truth about it is that there is a different distinction between people that are harassed. Just that's different from people that actually beg for marks. Max. The truth about it is that there's an article circulating in the media, um, I think it was just this week, at Monday, I guess. The parents are even saying, for well, this was primary school, mm. the truth about it is that a lot of students are convinced. The system the is flawed. They get into university, they get into mm. five years ago at Yaba, 
armes locales attaquent le voyage post pour ceux qui sont faits par ou à ou pour la fin de If people that want to write the exam, there's an online, there's an online platform now where exams with uh, questions put jump. In this Nigeria, we will get there 24 hours before exams, the answers are there, the questions are there. So a lot of people get into school and they are actually very weak. Thank you. So there's a bigger so problem. What about so when, when I wrote Waek? Our, our mass examination, we heard the, uh, uh, the exam had leaked. And in the morning of the exam, the entire paper was cancelled and Waek replaced it. Those things don't work again. See, people will try to break those barriers. He doesn't give anybody the ex excuse of determining that the person is uh, uh, academically challenged. So that's why there are classes of degrees that you get. There's a first class, second class, lower class, third class. It means that the level of your ability... But can we agree that when if, an if we solve these problems from the root, which Shotoko had suggested earlier, yeah. maybe to at least and, drastically and reduce... a person who might have a chance... No, no, what, what, beyond that, let me come to school, school. for a second. Um, most of the things that happen in the universities, all, whether it's the sexual harassment mm. or the sex for marks, the lecturers, when they are caught at the end of the day, they hide it under sex for marks. So you can't really tell right. what is, who is pursuing okay. who and what is not Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Not, We're hanging there. Hold on, hold on. If a case came out, yes, now. Was sometimes Bushy, they become hold on. It was termed sex for marks. Yes. Until it came out that the girl actually passed. Yes. That's what I'm so, saying. So you on. could tell because the girl had had a precedence of prove. passing. Okay. Do you understand? She's had a precedence of passing. You could tell that she would suddenly fail this particular course and be truly sex. So for okay. just one course. So my course. issue is this man was a young lecturer. All of us were in school. We saw those young lecturers that looked good. And our hormones were moving. Let's not deceive ourselves. No, you can be a larger. A larger no. can be immune to this thing. For but I'm saying that. No. no, I had a young in the, um, um, assistant lab tech man. He was yes. a young man. And he looked so good. And all of us in the lab, you we liked tripping. him. We liked him because he looked good. Now, if for any reason there was anybody that was academically weak in that class that was already in love or in love with the girl, <laughs> with the guy, oh, she would make a move. These men are men, and they are moved by sight. So yes, right. so they we need to create a stronger punitive measures yes. for the lecturers at four. Mm. When the lecturers at four know that the what, what is at stake yeah, is right. high, we can they will fall. So there's right. a counseling department within the university. A person who is academically challenged should be advised to on the alternatives to take, okay. not to be allowed to do sex for marks or be Thank abused okay. by lecturer. <laughs> Any lecturer who takes who allows to be uh, sex for Max is abusing that opportunity of exactly. the office. Right. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we have to round up. We just had to discuss it because we didn't want people to be swayed, thinking no. that, oh, it's okay for you to be afraid yeah. sex for Max just because you're academically weak. Read your books. That's all we can take on this segment. When we come back, we're talking to a lady we love. She's one of um, women who are inspiring young people out there. She's doing a great job in events planning. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Yes, thanks for staying with us. So following her passion for a well-executed and memorable event, our guest started an event planning company back in 2015, where she has created unique experiences for brides and grooms. She was nominated at the Association of Professional Party Organizers and Event Managers of Nigeria, APWEM. And this was back, this is actually 2018, this year. Congratulations. She was also a delegate and speaker at the Wedding Industry Conference Seminars, uh, such as Wedding Academy in 2018. Welcome with us, Titi Lokwe Oshie of Tesla Law Events. Thank you so much. Thank you. So you can call us on 070-806-68014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YourViewTVC so we can read your tweets. All right. A few years ago, actually about 10 years ago, event planning was like the in thing. Everybody was doing an event planner. Everybody had a grandmother and a gets man were event planners. <laughs> and suddenly, <laughs> gradually, people started separating the, the, the real ones the from the shop, from, yeah. the, from the weeds. So the people started realizing, okay, there are few good ones out there. And others started collapsing, collapsing. How have you been able to stay competitive 2015 up until now? Because there are lots of competition out there, lots of people are doing events. Mm. How do you stay afloat? How do you stay different, unique compared to others? Okay, thank you so much. Um, signature events, by planning so many, like you have to be unique, you have to know what you want, make sure you are different from others. I tried, okay, after university, during the NYSC, when the 
list of names weren't out yet. So I decided to go into training. Who trained you? Um, to seven or six events. Oh, okay. yes. They're big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so after then, I decided to start up my business. So it was, it was tough at the beginning, but so gradually. What the deviation, insurance risk management, management to events? Okay, while I was in Unilag, my friends would call me, TT, I want to plan a birthday. What can you do? I'll help them cook. I'll be the one to help them get the cake. So I'll, you've always done that? Yes. To put it so I will even tell them, okay, this is how I want the celebrant to enter. So I never knew I was actually creating a grand entrance then. Yeah. So I knew I wanted this. I love arranging things. I love making things happen. So what, what, what are the, like, um, I know that when getting employed, you have your soft skills and hard skills. What are the soft skills you had? that made your friends gravitate towards you to help them organize their events? And what were the hard skills you had to learn from 2702 events, 2706 so events okay. that made you a event planner that you are now? Okay, while I was planning, while, while I was training with her, uh, I used to think, oh no, she's too, uh, she's too this and that. So while planning my, okay, my first event, it was more like there are some places I flopped. I was like, oh, I wasn't hard enough to talk to these vendors. Vendors messed me up. And I thought, OK, going for the affordable ones will help me a lot. So I realized that, OK, there are some vendors that know their onions in the industry. Mm -hmm. You have to work with them hand in hand. So after the flop, I took myself. I was like, OK, no, this is what I need to do. Like, I need to be hard on these people, not like, OK, I'm, you are wicked. So you ended up like your, your principal? Yes. So, you know, one of the uh, reasons some people till today still don't um, engage event planners is the fact that they feel it's expensive. Yep. You know, you look all fly, I like your hair, your outfit, you look expensive. Thank so, you. is it affordable for the common man who wants oh. to plan an event? Okay, planning an event, getting a professional to plan your events is just basically doing cost versus va value analysis. Because at the end of the day, if you feel that, okay, you don't want to get a, an event planner and you want to do everything by yourself, mm -hmm. trust me, you you'll will be find, you'll be stressed out. And if you feel that, oh yeah, I have a cousin or a sister or a friend that can help me, everybody wants to have fun on their day. So imagine me coming as a professional, I don't know you, I'm doing my work. Mm -hmm. So I am coming, I am coming to deliver. What's the difference that it makes? A lot. So it makes a lot of difference. Like, okay. Practically. Okay, practically, like, the bride is coming to the hall and she doesn't want anybody around the walk, walkway area. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be, you don't want that, um, you don't want it to be rowdy. Yeah. Right. So your friends must have gone to call, as in, pick up some of their friends that are just mm -hmm. coming mm -hmm. for an event. So they will not see all these right. things. And even yeah, also, even if you have a yeah. cousin, Right, for example, helping you because cousin knows your family members. Yes, because they'll have they'll they'll give preference to that's that's your family. Of of any food. Family, family members are the one taking everything yeah. in the. Titi, let me wedding. come to because there are lots of people out there looking for alternate source of income. They're looking mm. for to start a business. They want and they know that event planning is obviously lucrative. But how to start? The money, the finances. What do I need to start this business? Where do I get the clientele? Because you want to, you have to find people that are willing to pay. It's not everybody that will take an event planner. So how the young girl that you go to university get in now say, okay, there's a, there's a huge market of people who want to do that, and there are lots of people providing this service. How do I start this business of event planning? Could you help that person? Okay, go for training. Go for good training. Get someone to train you. Get a good company to train you. Okay. After then, don't think of the money. I started off as planning events for free. For free. Pro bonos, I did a lot of pro bonos. I did, okay, let me just help you do this. And at the end of the day, you find out that the bride will end up giving me money okay. after, the, after the event. Okay, you did well. So that was how I started. So, and don't believe that immediately you start making money. Mm. Mm. How would you, or what would you um, advise in place of internship where people finish training, the, the idea of them working for someone for a while? before actually launching their own business. What's your experience with interns who work with you or that you advise to work with other people? Or do you say you should just start your business? No, you don't need to start your business. You can start with internship. And um, sadly, most of our youths these days want everything fast. Mm. So they want to go into a company and feel that, okay, I can just 
do things like I can just get our clients, I, be loyal, be humble, be dedicated to your work. There, there's this ego attached to the kind of internship that was, that is now. You know, when you wanted to learn a skill those days, you have to do every dirty work yeah, your boss give you. So, Madam, let's take tailoring for instance. You come to Madam's work, you, you want wash. to learn tailoring, you first of all go and wash children's clothes, those kind of things. <laughs> How much of the dirty work can, must you put up with? In, in, in the mm. humble, because we say humble, humble, humble. That's humble. humble. <laughs> you yeah. don't do sure. yeah. so, no, you don't have to. You don't have to go deep down the dirty work. There are some well, things. Those are the sacrifices that you need to make. The sacrifices are just as in very obvious like you can actually go down to an extent but you won't really really right okay like let me go, ask, to, go ahead okay, yeah then. how how did you um when you started out helping out with friends and went for training how did you now build your brand because branding is very important in yeah. a world like that we have right now yes, so yes, if your brand doesn't cool. stand out you won't really get the kind yes. of clients you want how did you build okay started brand? off as referrer so I saw that everybody were doing oh grand entrances and um, um, were doing different things entirely. So I said, okay, I want to give my guest experience. I want to give my clients an experience. So what do, do I do? In terms of food, when it comes to my events, I try not to make sure, that, I try to make sure you don't lack. Even when you come to my events f at 5 p.m. There's food. Mm. There's food. Okay. Because this is what I did. I decided that, okay, you know, Every family, we always have one caterer, in-house caterer. Okay. So when I got to, like for instance, I went for a meeting. So I told them, okay, apart from this major of main caterers that you're getting, I need backup caterer. Okay. Even when if I to pay for that. that. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. I had to tell them, I had to convince my clients that, right. okay, I won't get you the old affordable, I'll be the old luxury caterers. Okay. I'll get you the affordable and quality caterers. Okay. So I tried. I tried it in one, uh, for one client, and we got food for her. Like mm. these Togolese people, mm -hmm. they brought food, rice and fish in the night. And we have to uh, run off on a break now, but I wanted to just ask a quick question before we run off. Um, getting the materials for wedding planning, the, the decor and all that, are those things expensive? Or can you just rent them? To, as a, for a starter, do you rent them from somewhere or do you have to buy them? Okay. For event planning, I don't, I don't decorate. Okay. So I just get vendors to decorate for me. All right. I have different types of decorators okay, so it's so. either the average ones the luxury oh, ones that work for you you that pay work them for me so yeah, then I pay them. Them. oh fantastic yes. thank you so much for sharing your views on it. we're going to go on a break when we come back we want to get you to talk a bit about our hot topic because everybody's talked about university experiences in the university mm -hmm. i'd like to hear your own experiences on that mm -hmm. together stay with us we'll be right back stay tuned your view For staying with us so I hope you all learned quite a few things about becoming an event planner because it's really hard out there but thanks to TT should be to explain to us on how to start and how to sustain it but going back to our hot topic earlier I'd like to hear your thought because you went to University of Lagos and University of Lagos was known no, as the capital of this kind of things yeah, well yeah. I'm just this is my own person that, that's what I've heard though I didn't know I don't know how that you can take exception for me <laughs> it's, what, it's what I heard outside I don't know but you tell us how was it over there and did you ever hear of these things and and what, what, what was your experience like Yes, we, I heard of it. When I, okay, I applied for business admin and they gave me insurance. So I knew I had to do this. I had to just read and pass because if you don't read, you will fail. You'll go to the other way around. Right. Like, so I, we met, but funny, I hear a lot of things when I got out of Unilag that, oh, Unilag, you don't, you, um, you don't read actually. You do th stuff for marks and everything. It's a lie because we have the, main SUs there, like conk SUs. <laughs> then we have the fabas, people that can read, <laughs> read to the core. Like we have different type of lifestyle in Unilag. Mm -hmm. So you, when you come into Unilag, you just choose. It's a choice. What, what life do you want to live there? Mm -hmm. So it is your choice if you want to live those kind of life. Do you agree with the professor saying that it's those people who don't know academically weak? 
Yes, that's good I for do. sex or max. You know? Yes, I do. Thank you. I do. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Because, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> because while I was in school, I decided that insurance, insurance was not my thing. I don't know but what you was insurance. you were going to read. But I had to read. I knew, okay, Titi, you have to do this. So, okay. I just... Let me take a few tweets and I'll take this call too. Go ahead. Nima. Okay, we have tweets. Um, Buster here says, what guarantee do, we, do you have that the counseling departments will not be as guilty? The way they to tackle this growing phenomenon of using Marx as an instrument for sexual form of exploitation is not to allow any form of impunity, no matter the individual or university involved. Then Goddess Joseph said, the lecturer is supposed to provide guidance for the student and support her by playing the role of a parent. The institution is a place where students are supposed to develop sound character, not where character should be destroyed. Let me take this call from Oinda. Oinda, Mola, are you there? Hello, Oinda. Hello. Good morning, Oinda. Good morning. Good morning. Happy not on our side. Today is my mom's birthday. I'm happy, happy, happy birthday, mommy. You've been watching the program right now. I wish happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday to your mom. Happy birthday, mommy. Happy birthday, mommy Oinda. Happy birthday. Yes, <laughs> Clap for Mommy Oinda now. Uh -uh. Hey. <laughs> Happy birthday. All right. Do you want to say one or two things about our topic? The sex of marks. Okay. She's Let's gone. take a few more to I have come one to the audience. Here. Shara Fadin Babalala says, those students that lecturers speak are truly the academically weak ones because any brilliant student who happens to find herself in this kind of mess will outrightly turn down the offer and call for her papers in a circumstance when the lecturer intentionally fails her. Have you been to the Nigerian university? Call for your scripts audience, just like that. You can. You can. It doesn't you work that you way. You take the risk of an extra year, call for your scripts. It doesn't work okay, that let me way. Call, let, me, let me get a few comments from our audience. Have you experienced any, anything like this? And what, what, what's your view on what the professor said? Go ahead. Mine, mine is not okay. on academically weak students. I want to talk about event planning. I don't know if I'm... Oh, go ahead. OK. Um, the madam talked about getting money from brides. That when she started, you know, some people blessed her with money, some brides. But I just want to encourage people out there that it's not just, it may not happen immediately. You may not even yes. get money from the bride immediately. But keep at it, be good, and with time you'll be discovered. Yes. So don't be discouraged, keep point. working with Fantastic. time. Someone and will so find let you me out. add something to that. Even after the brides blessed me with money, I decided that I'm giving back to my business, like I invested in my business. Mm -hmm. Take for instance, when you come into the hall, I made sure I branded some stuff. Even when the um, bride came into the hall, they, they, they were the surprised. We didn't pay for this. Mm -hmm. So it was more like... Having your own name. It was coming back to me. Right. Everything I, I had done in the You're past, like it. take for instance, I did something that, okay, when you come into the hall, I decided to get Imodium, like a first aid box. So I got Imodium, all these um, painkillers. I know that all these girls, when they are coming to slay, they have um, <laughs> gale yeah, so and headache. headache. So you have a desk where the ushers are. So you present it to them. Imodium. That was your own and, personal but, touch. Yes, that was my own personal touch. I even went as far as getting an inhaler because there's this low fog thingy during first dance. Mm. So once uh, everybody wants to stay in the front. Mm -hmm. So even if you're an asthmatic patient, you want to stay in the front. So I decided to okay, let's covered. let's have that. So in Fantastic. case of anything. Very interesting. Personal wow. touch. Yeah. Impressive. Yeah. 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 Any other questions or comments from the audience? Please go ahead. Yeah. Events or sex for marks. Sex for marks. Yes, go ahead. I want to believe that sex for marks is not a priority to education, whatever. It depends on the ability of student and, def you know, defending yourself in class. And if anybody is harassing you for sex for marks, I believe it's a visible thing you can just report and then escape from it. It's not a thing that you should discuss. Okay, all right. Yes. Thank you. Please, please. Okay, Sharafadim Babalala says, those students that lecturers speak are truly the academically weak ones because any brilliant student who That's happens right, to find right. herself in this kind of mess will outrightly turn down the offer or calls for a paper in circumstances when the lecturer is intentional. I have intentional a tweet. Tweet. one last tweet. Students that are dull might want to entice lecturers, but it's still the duty of the lecturer to advise the student and inspire her for academic excellence. All right, thank you very much. Unfortunately, that's all we can take, but thank you so much for coming on the show. Yes. And thank, thank you for, for teaching us a bit about event plan and inspiring us. Inspiring There's something you want to say? Okay, all right. So, and also for the sex for marks, it's an opinion of the professor. We're not saying that's our views here. We're just saying that 
If you're going to go into university, be focused on what you're going there to be do. Be ready so to do ready. the work. People will make passes at you. Professors will be under pressure. Yes, but you have a choice. Work. As Titi had said, mm -hmm. you choose what, what you, you want. want. And if you choose to be asking for sex with Max, you better be ready to face the tune. If he does, if, he does, if everything falls <laughs> in your face. That's all we can take on the show. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>